Now look at your forecast. Here's a photo of some interesting cloud patterns. Stephanie Meinhart sent this to us using Report It, and she asked Chad a question. What makes the clouds line up like this? And Chad, what's the big answer there? Those are alto cumulus undulatus clouds, and the winds at that level of the atmosphere act like winds over a pond, and when that wind blows over the water, you get little ripples. Same thing with those clouds. You get those little ripples in the clouds when you have some pretty strong winds uh, at that level. So, for the evening, no real mid-level clouds are blowing to waves, but still a few lingering fair weather cumulus that we had today. A lot, in fact, a lot of those covering the sky. But even with all those clouds, we still managed 93 degrees today, and we're still going to be at 92 at 7, 86 at 9, and an 80 at 11 o'clock. Sky's becoming mostly clear. Good news, isolated storms tomorrow, but the problem is ahead of the front, that's going to try to swing in from the north and northeast. A little bulge of that Plains heat wave, we talked about that last week, is going to try to get in here. So the 100 degree line, kind of in our southwest counties, it's going to try to get in here tomorrow as that really extreme Plains heat kind of flirts with us and it'll try to bulge eastward throughout the week. I think there'll be two days where it makes some inroads in our area. And then after those isolated storms, perhaps a few storms later on in the week. But this is not going to be a drought buster. So tomorrow there'll be a cold front swinging in from the north. And right ahead of it, a bulge of that plain seed's going to try to get in here. It could be 106 tomorrow at St. Louis, 113 at Tulsa, Oklahoma. But 93 Rochester, 94 Logansport, down our southwest counties, upper 90s to right around 100. So I went for upper 90s in Lafayette, 94 Madaryville, and about 93 Akron, 95 at Camden. Wednesday, the front will kind of sink to the south. Now it'll push the bulk of that heat west, but you'll notice behind the front, it's not necessarily a lot cooler. 90 Rochester, 92 Monticello, 95 Crawfordsville, 95 Perry. So I think the problem Wednesday is going to be a brisk north to northeast wind, very low humidity, contributing to the fire danger. We're fine tonight, but notice the front sinking in tomorrow. Again, this may be overdoing it a little bit, but there'll be a few isolated storms here and there. And then we clear out rapidly tomorrow night and we'll drop down into the 60s. In the outlook, so here comes the front. Tomorrow, coming in from the north, it'll push the main heat wave west a little bit, but it may try to bulge back later on in the week. Notice the 94 Thursday, by Friday, 99, and then we cool off just a hair. 95 Saturday, perhaps a couple more scattered storms Sunday, Monday, with highs low to mid-90s. So we'll take the low to mid-90s over 99 or 100 any day, but you'll notice, generally speaking, above normal temperatures, below normal rainfall for at least the next seven days, Gina.